So here it is in action. Check that out. It's really, really cool. So it's scrubbing as it moves back and forth. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Ecovax D-Bot X1 Omni. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here. Check it out, everything looks great. This is a massive, massive, massive box which has inside our two-in-one robot vacuum and mop and our self-emptying and self-cleaning base. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. First up, you can see we have our D-Bot X1 RoboVac right here, followed by our docking station. Now let's go ahead, let's look at all the contents inside this box. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our product literature right here with our declarations as well as our warranty information. This does come with a one-year warranty. Next, you can see our instruction guide and manual available in multiple languages walking us through everything we need to know about this product so check it out right here you can see everything that they'll show you from quick start to wi-fi connections you can download the ecovax home app for ios and android devices how to charge the dbot how to set up the tank with clean water how to operate it how to use the mopping feature how to activate the self-emptying base turning child lock on maintenance schedule right here. Then we have how to properly clean and maintain all the different units from the dustbin and filters to the side brushes, to the main brush, to other components and sensors to wipe down occasionally and clean. And then we have our Omni station right here showing you how to make sure that's properly cleaned and maintained. Then we have a troubleshooting section walking you through common malfunctions and probable causes and solutions for all those different scenarios. Then all that information repeats again in multiple languages. Next, you can see our accessories right here. So we have a nice dust bag right here to collect all the contents. We have our multi-function cleaning tool, our side cleaning brushes. We have our two mopping pads right here. Check those out, they are washable. Then you can see we have our power cord and cable. And lastly, we have the vacuum itself. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. Here's the unit up close, check it out. Everything looks great. I really like the silver and black color scheme that we have going on here. You can see we have our power button front and center, the Ecovacs logo and branding on top of our LiDAR module. That's gonna be how this unit navigates. Then you can see we have the D-Bot logo and branding on the top. Now you may notice too, we have these two little arrow stickers right here. We need to go ahead and open up the magnetic cover, really nice. It just snaps right in place, so cool. Really clever design. Now you can see on the top where we can remove the packaging right there to now allow the bumper to move freely. You can see we got our Wi-Fi button. We have our toggle on and off switch. We have our handle right here to remove our dustbin for easy emptying and cleaning if we ever need to do that. But don't forget, this is a self-emptying base, so you shouldn't have to do that. Just take it out occasionally to clean as desired. You can also see the inside right there. Nice handle, there's our air filter as well. And then that is removable. So you can see how the insides look there. And then it just snaps right back in place. And we have our compartment right here where that's gonna be for the auto empty. It's gonna suck all the contents out right there. And that just snaps right back in place. Then we can go ahead and we can put the cover back on. Now let's look at it from all different sides and angles. So you can see from the side right here, we have our front navigational bumper with some additional infrared sensors. Then on the front, you can see we have some smart 3D vision as well for better obstacle avoidance. Really impressive, those sensors. You may notice some additional sensors on the side of that unit and on this side as well. Looking at it from the back, you can see, looks like we got some, maybe some air exhaust right there. We also have our dust outlet. So that's gonna be how all the contents get emptied out of the vacuum automatically for us. We have some charging contacts right here, an additional sensor. Then you can see on this side, we have our water inlet and probably some additional exhaust as well. Now we can flip it over, look at it from the bottom right here. So check it out. We have a lot of stuff to go over here. So we have our cliff sensors right here to make sure that the unit's never gonna drive off any sort of edge or cliff. You can see where we're gonna install our side cleaning brushes. They're color coded red and green. Additional Ecovax D-Bot X1 Omni information right here. You can see our main cleaning brush roller, check that out. And you may notice too, we do have 
the ability for this to adjust in real time depending on the level of the surface. So that's great. Then you can see if we need to remove it, very simple to do to clean and remove any tangles. And then you just snap it right back in place. You can see our two heavy duty drive wheels. Those look great. And I got to point out, they're definitely softer, kind of squishy. Really a cool design if you see it from the side right here. Check that out. Basically an airless wheel, but they're soft. Durable yet soft. That's the best way to describe it. Heavy duty and soft, I should say. And then you can see on the back, we have where we're going to attach our two mopping modules right there. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the docking station. Now you can see we're looking at the docking station from the top, everything looks great. We have a little sticker over here prompting us to open the top. You may notice at the very top, they have instructions for you to get everything set up right here with their customer service and contact information built directly into the unit itself and a QR code so you can download their free mobile app for iOS and Android devices. When you open it up all the way, it reveals two tanks. We have our clean water and our dirty water tank. And we have some prompts right here to go ahead and pull this up. And that's going to reveal our included cleaning brush, which is really cool. And some nice, easy storage for us right here in the top of the unit. It just slides right back down in place. You may notice, too, we have spots for additional accessory storage as well. And then it just again slides right back in place. We can go ahead. We can pull out those tanks right here. You can see how massive this clean water tank is. So check that out. It's even got a level for us, letting us know the max. And then we have our dirty water tank. Looks very, very similar. This one does not have a level on it, but you can see how it looks. Again, the dirty water is going to be that grayish black tank. The blue tank is going to be for your clean water. And then they'll just really easily go right back in here. Very nice. And these are really uh, sturdy and durable. So they're definitely made out of hard plastic, which is always a good thing. Now we can look at the unit from the front. So check it out right here. You can see where the unit's gonna drive up to charge and self empty. We have a little sticker right here with the prompt letting us know that there's basically a button underneath you can press and this drawer slides out and that reveals our contents when they're emptied in here. So it comes with the vacuum bag already and we had that additional one that you saw earlier. So it does come with two bags for you. We can look at the other side and you can see we just have um, empty space right here with the filter looks like probably for the air to pass through. But that's a nice little drawer tucked out of the way for you. Just press the button underneath the unit to open it up for you to be able to easily empty as needed. That'll vary depending on how often you clean and how dirty your house is. Now let's go ahead, let's look at this from the back side. Here's a look at the back side of the unit. You can see we have a nice built-in handle up top. We have built-in cable storage and management down here, and you can see where our power cable is gonna connect. Now you can see the unit from the side right here. It looks great, just has a nice silvery finish. Here's the other side, same thing. It's identical with the same silvery finish. Now I thought we'd tip it up so you can see inside where the vacuum's gonna go to self-empty, recharge, and clean the mops. So first up, you may notice we have two wheels on the side. I believe that's gonna be to help the vacuum make its final approach and get lined up properly. Then you can see where it's gonna self-empty. We also have our charging contacts, reflective strips. This will also clean the mop heads for you as well and dry them with hot air coming out of here as well. So not only does it recharge and self-empty, it also cleans the mop heads for us after use. Now it's time to get the vacuum set up. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the side cleaning brushes. You can see they're color-coded. Red's gonna go with the red one. One, just gently press and it'll snap in place. Green lined up with the green one. Same thing, just snap and press it in place. Then you can see we have our mopping modules right here that we need to install. These are just magnets, which is awesome, super nice. So very easy to install those in place. You can swap sides if you wanted, no big deal. Also want to point out again, these are washable. So you can see we can pull the pads off to replace or wash as needed but there we go we have the vacuum all set and ready to go now let's let it charge up really quickly i wanted to point out that they do give you two extra mop cleaning pads as well they're stored conveniently in the side of our brush 
holder right here. And don't forget you have additional spots if you want to put in store some other accessories, you can do that as well. Now that we got the vacuum all charged up, let's go ahead and set it up within the Ecovax home app. Again, this is a free app available for iOS and Android devices. Once you have it downloaded, you'll be prompted to sign in or create an account. Once you do, you'll be at this home screen right here where we can choose to add our RoboVac. We can select the big blue add button if we want, or we can select the little QR code icon in the top right hand corner. So let's go ahead, let's select that one because this is pretty cool. You can see then we can scan our QR code and it's going to pull up the vacuum for us. So check it out. Now it's prompting us to connect to our Wi Fi network. Make sure you're connected to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi network. Enter your password, then select next. Now it's walking us through how to prepare our vacuum. Make sure it's powered on then select next. Make sure that you reset the Wi-Fi right here. So hold it down for one second, then we'll have a ready prompt. For network setup. It's ready for network setup, select next, all set. Now we're prompted to join and connect to the Wi-Fi's network for the vacuum cleaner. There we go, we're connected. It's doing all this for us automatically right now, which is great. Now you can see it's connecting the RoboVac to our phone. We're already at 51% and it'll just take a couple more seconds to set everything up. There we go, everything set up. That took less than 15 seconds. Now we can name the RoboVac, select next. We can choose our time zone and language, hit enter. And now you can see we're prompted to update our firmware. So go ahead, select update. And you can see to do this, we need to make sure it's connected to our station. So let's go ahead, let's connect it now, update the firmware and come back into the settings. Now that we have the firmware updated, you can see we're back in the home screen for our X1 Omni and you can see some of the settings right at our fingertips. So first up, we can select the name of our vacuum to reveal a drop down menu where we can share this with anybody that has an Ecovacs home account if we want, just enter their email address. Next, we have our online indicator and our battery percentage followed by our auto cleaning mode and our recharge mode. You can see to the right, we have our built-in voice assistant right here. So you can learn more about that with their quick start settings. Then we can go back. Then we have our smart cleaning section. So once it creates a map, we need to map our home first. Then we'll be able to see that map in real time and choose either a custom clean if we want. We have an area clean as well, our map management and our return to station. So we will be able to manage multiple maps. So say you have a two story home or you have a one story house with a basement, things like that. You wanna use this in multiple places. You can create multiple maps. We also have our voice assistant prompt right here that we can enable. And then we'll go ahead, we'll come back into the app after it's finished mapping. We'll look at more of these settings. We'll go back out. And then you can see we have a video manager option. So this is pretty cool too. So we can actually utilize the 3D Hello, vision and cameras on our RoboVac. So you can see live in real time what we're working with right here. Again, once it's populated our map, we'll come back in and look at these settings in more detail, but we do have all those features right at our fingertips. So now let's go ahead, let's create our map and let it clean. Now you can see we have the vacuum cleaning on a hard surface right here. Everything's working great as you would expect. It's running very smoothly. And you'll notice too, it'll trace the perimeter of the room. Then it'll start cleaning back and forth in your nice row by row navigation. So check that out. It's going back and forth, making sure it's lined up with the previous row and covering all of the surface area necessary to guarantee a nice thorough and clean floor. You may notice I have a couple obstacles on the floor here that we're going to see how it responds to a couple different shapes and sizes hopefully pretty realistic to what you have lying around your house that you might leave on the floor. Although I highly recommend never leaving scissors on the floor, but check it out. It's moving back and forth. First up, it's approaching the water bottle right here. So you can see no issues there. When it makes its next pass, it will have to choose how to encounter it. So here we go. It's turning around right now and it's coming back, lining up. Good, it's off to the side a little bit too. We'll see if the camera picks it up. So there we go. It did just approach it. And look at that going right around it. Pretty impressive. Bumping into it a little bit, nudging it around, which actually isn't bad. It's actually going to get all the floor underneath it too, but you can see it is moving it some as it progresses with its clean. And now you can see it did recognize the USB cable right there. Coming up on the cable again, partially in view. 
The side brush just made some contact with it, but you can see it didn't run over it. Now we're coming up on the scissors right here, so check that out. You can see it does sense and see them, working on moving around it. Still processing it. I'm impressed it can see something that low. But there we go, no issues at all with the scissors. All right, now it's going to approach the USB cable head on. Wow, you can see it stopped in time. Processing the cable, moving around it. It definitely knows where it is and also, most importantly, it knows where the obstacles are in the room. So it's circling the cable. No issues at all with that being left out on the floor. Now you can see the vacuums approaching the stairs right here at the top of the landing and check it out. The cliff sensors are working great. It's preventing the vacuum from falling down the steps. Now you can see the RoboVac cleaning on our carpet right here. It's doing a great job going back and forth row by row in a nice logical cleaning pattern, making great lines in the carpet too for us. So you can visually even see what areas have been cleaned, but pay attention to that overlap right there as it moves back and forth. And again, it's not having any issues at all moving freely on carpet. Now you can see we have the mopping attachment installed on the RoboVac and it's going back and forth mopping the floors. Let's go ahead, let's look at that up close. So here it is in action, check that out. It's really, really cool. So it's scrubbing as it moves back and forth and you might be able to see on the floor here, it's definitely damp to the touch. It's not gonna leave your floor soaking wet or anything like that. So it'll air dry in just a matter of minutes but if you can tell you can see a little bit right there it is wet it does have good coverage over all of the floor again due to the spinning and scrubbing power of the two mop heads don't forget when the vacuum has finished cleaning it's going to return itself home as you can see right here back into the charging base so it can recharge self-empty and clean the mop pads Check that out, really fascinating how cool that is that it just backs right in there and you can see it's almost home. Now that it's in the base, you can see that it's working on cleaning the mop pads for us so you can hear water being discharged. It'll clean, it'll refill the tank. It'll also air dry the pads. So cleaning takes, I'd say, around two minutes or so. It's actually fairly quick, but now you may hear very faintly a fan running. So now we have our hot air drying activated to dry the mop pads for us. Now we're gonna empty the dustbin. So here we go, we're emptying the dustbin right now. It doesn't take very long. It's very powerful and does a good job getting out all the contents. It'll just run for a few more seconds, so it doesn't even take 
10 seconds to empty the dustbin. Now that we finished cleaning, let's go back into the mobile app. So we want to enter smart cleaning right here and you can see the map that populates now. So check it out, everything looks great. This is the map that we have. You can see I've already changed and added some things to it that I'll explain here in just a second. But check it out, that's our current map right here, very accurate. It got it right away on the first mapping run. I didn't have to change or realign any of the rooms or anything like that. So it looks great, it's really, really cool. First thing let's look at is the map management option down in the bottom left hand corner. Now that we have the map, you can see we can choose different maps if we had additional ones saved we could activate quick mapping again but let's go into this map and you can see the different options we have to edit so first up our virtual boundaries you can see we have some already enabled where we can set a no mop zone or we can set a no vacuum in mopping zone so maybe you have a shag rug maybe you have a christmas tree skirt on your decorations things like that that you don't want the vacuum to get tangled or caught up in or maybe after it cleans your house a couple times, you realize it always gets stuck here or there, you can set a little no-go zone, line, border, whatever you need for the particular area. So in this case, if we wanted to prohibit it from both cleaning and mopping, we can choose a box or a line right there. Drag and drop on screen, resize as needed. Same can be said for our mopping as well. You can use a full box or a rectangle or just an individual line and kind of draw a wall if you want. So that's really cool. That's right there. Next, we can label the areas. So you can see we have different options here to label. So I'm leaving them as they are, that's fine, but we could change them, right? Dining room, study. You have a couple options here that'll work with the voice control that's built in. So you can see that right there. There's no option to customize, and I think that has to do with the voice assistance. So I'd like to see that in the future where you could write in what you want, but I understand that has a whole nother level of technological hurdles but you can label the areas. Then you can see we can divide. So say it mapped, let's say in our example, room one and room four as one massive room, we could divide it up. We could also merge. So say room one and four was one saw or was two separate rooms like you see here. And we wanted to merge it together as one big great room. We could do that right there with merge, but I'm really happy it got everything perfect on its map. Now, ironically, that isn't the bathroom you can see on there, but that's just auto populated for us. So no big deal. Again, if I really wanted to, you could see how we could change it, but that's what you can do right here. The labels, the boundaries, merge or divide. So you can edit your map as needed. And then you can see, we'll go back out. Now we can look at our custom area. So we could just choose now that the maps populated a specific area we want to clean. So we have that option right there. Then we also have our area, so we could just choose specific rooms that we want to clean, right? So you have a couple different options. So it's really nice, you have a couple different ways to clean, auto, custom, or area. Now we're in our 3D settings right here, so you can go ahead, we can bring that up. It's gonna load a 3D house map. This is really cool. And we have a couple different options here. You can see at the top, we have our map display, what we want to choose to show. Then we have our home furnishing. So I already added a bed and a little plant in the bedroom just for fun. You can see the indoor furniture options that we have. So many different things we could add, dressers, nightstands, litter box, that sort of thing. Then we have our flooring material. This automatically populated it for us for our hard floors, which I think is really cool. But there's no carpet option. I wish there was a carpet option. Default might be carpet, but still, it'd be cool to actually have a carpet option right there. So you can see that. And then lastly, we have our outer wall. So you can see we could double tap if we wanted to expand or shrink any of the walls right here. So just the outer ones though, keep that in mind as you see as I'm touching around the screen, but we have that option too. You can change the layout a little bit there, but I think that's really cool that we have the ability within this app to furnish it virtually. And now that we have some cleanings finished, I thought we'd go ahead, we'd look at the cleaning log right here. So you can see we can pull that up. We have our smart cleaning right here and you can see so far we've cleaned 1200 square feet, four times, hour and 39 minutes for our duration. We can go back and look at those cleans too. So here's our first clean right there. That's the map that it made. It did such a good job. I'm really impressed. I love being able to see the breakdown right here. The only thing I wish it would show was how much battery was used and depleted. That'll vary depending on the suction settings, if you're mopping, that sort of thing. But don't forget, this is smart enough. It can resume and recharge. So you don't really have to worry about battery life anymore. But you can see the different options that we have here. Here's a 30 minute clean with the two rooms not being clean since we have the mopping module installed. 
And then you can see from the cleaning log, we actually have our video manager as well. This is pretty cool. So we got our home patrol right here and it shows you what it patrolled and we can actually view the photos right from within the app. And this is so neat. So check that out. I had a lot of fun using the home patrol feature. And this was in a low light environment. The sun was just rising. So you can get an idea for the quality right here. But we have all those photos right there we can download right to our phone. That is my favorite feature of this vacuum. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in even more detail. So from the app screen right here, you can see we can select the video icon if we want to get into some of the settings, but then it'll be prompted to go into the video manager. So that's the easiest way to get there. But if you're on this screen, you can jump right to the video manager at the bottom. So check this out, really, really cool. This is my favorite feature, hands down, for this unit. So many things we can do here. So let's just start at the bottom. First up is arrival on command. So we can select an area where we want it to go. I love this feature. And you can see the areas that we already have. So we could just tap on one of those or anywhere on the screen for that matter, right? And that's where it's gonna go. So that's really cool, you can send it out. Then we have our home patrol that'll activate it going. You'll see it's going to go around the house now and patrol to all those different dots on the map, which I love. And then we can snap photos and videos. So home patrol is in progress right there. Then you can see we have voice call so we can call and speak through the RoboVac. So maybe you want to get your kids down for dinner, things like that. But check this out. Look at how cool this is. We're patrolling right now, and it's very quick. It does a good job. So you can see right here, it's at the first spot, and now it's looking around the room. It's going everywhere. So give you a 360 view, all different directions. I love this. This is just amazing technology. Now it's making its way into the kitchen. Same thing, once it arrives, it'll rotate. So really you got boots on the ground. If you're not home, you can still go check on every room of your house that the RoboVac can get to. I just love this feature. Amazing, I can't say enough good things about it. So cool. So we got voice call, we got return to station if we want to go home. We can snap photos too, right? We can also take, I think around 20 second video or so, give or take. And then we can also view our photos. Then at the top we have three dots right here. You can see we can schedule patrol. We can change the language and the volume. So those are great. Then you can see we have our little indicator right here letting us know what's going on so we can get a reminder, right? So video recording has started. It will give you a light reminder or a voice reminder and you can learn more about it right here. And as soon as you activate this setting home patrol, it will auto notify you. I did hear it say that it's working. So there we go, our patrol is complete. That simple. Because we have the mopping pads on, that's why I didn't go in the other two rooms in yellow. And now it's gonna make its way back home. It's awesome. So I just really can't say enough good things about this. We'll keep watching it for a second too. It's fun to see it go back home. So it's driving up to the station. It's gonna return, turned around, and now it's gonna back itself in. And there we go, now it's home. Let me go ahead, let's bring it down, and let's test out the voice call quality. Now you can hear the vacuum call in quality right here with the volume adjusted all the way to the maximum. This is what it's gonna sound like if you want to call in and speak from your RoboVac. So now you can see we're testing out the camera at night. I turned off all the studio lights here. The warm light you're seeing right here is actually just the orange RGB light from my PC. But check it out, you can see the quality. We'll turn it this way too, where we have a light source behind us. It's actually very faint from that window. Believe it or not, there's actually a cover on it. So very, very sensitive to light. But even in the dark, we still have some color and details right here for the unit. So that's what you can expect if it's driving around the house at night. Now that we've cleaned a couple of times with the RoboVac, I thought we'd take a look and see how everything's held up so far. First up, you may notice too, I brought down the dirty water tank. This is disgusting. So you can see we no longer have our nice clean water. We have a little bit of debris in it and you can see it's really dirty and cloudy. Next up on the vacuum itself, what's really nice is since it does have a self-emptying base, you don't have to worry about emptying the dustbin, but I thought we'd still take a look at it. So you can see the dustbin right here 
and it obviously is dirty as you would expect. We have some dust and some hairs, a little bit of leftover residue, a couple of crumbs in there still too, I hear. Check out the air filter. This is already dirty as well too. So let's open it up and you can see it's going to trap really fine particles, which is what you want. So make sure you're cleaning that regularly. Let's go ahead, let's put this back in. And now we'll flip the unit over so we can look at the mop pads and the main brush roller. So check out the mop pads right here. They look brand new still, nice and clean. Does a really, really nice job. Obviously they're dry too, as you would expect, because it's gonna clean and dry them every time. And then you can see for our main brush roller, everything looks great. We do have some dust, as you would expect after use, but we don't have any tangles yet. That'll vary depending on how many times you use it and do you have a lot of long-haired individuals or pets around the house if you do just be sure to clean that regularly. This vacuum also comes with its own voice assistant or you can use Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. I wanted to spend a minute just showing you some of the commands here. So within the app and our settings, you can see we got our EQ voice assistant right here. Currently we have it disabled, but you can toggle that button on to activate it. And then you can say, okay, EQ to wake up the D bot and it will respond to your voice commands. So you can see all the commands right here. We have our auto clean commands quick mapping commands, area cleaning, furniture cleaning, come clean here command, and do not clean this area. So you can see all the different voice command options we have here if you wanna use their built-in voice assistant. If you prefer Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant, you can see the Alexa commands we have right here. Some of this will vary depending on the make and model, but you can see the basic and straightforward commands we have to start, to stop, to pause, and then you can see depending on some models to even locate, status, dock, and area clean, again, depending on the model that you have. So now let me share with you my final thoughts in regards to this RoboVac. We now have a new winner, in my opinion, of one of the best RoboVacs on the market today. You just can't beat the features that this vacuum has to offer. I always recommend getting a RoboVac that has a self-emptying base and LiDAR navigation because I believe the self-emptying base removes you one step further from cleaning your house. Now you no longer have to empty the dustbin every time it cleans. Now you have to empty it every one or two months or so depending on how dirty your house is and how often your vacuum runs. And then with our LiDAR navigation, I believe this is the superior navigation on the market today. It creates more detailed maps, gives you really cool things like the 3D map that we have here thanks to the 3D vision as well. But if you have something equipped with 3D vision and ladder navigation, you're going to love the user experience. This not only has that, it also gives us more. So it takes that self-emptying base and it makes it a self-cleaning base. So not only will it empty the contents of the dustbin, we can now leave our mopping module on and it will clean the mop after every run and refill the water tank for you automatically. I love, love, love that feature. This RoboVac also has a fantastic feature that's new to me to experience. Not only do we have our 3D vision, we actually have cameras embedded and enabled that we can record photos and videos using one of my favorite settings, Home Patrol. That is really what cemented this as the best vacuum in my opinion with all the features that it has to offer. I love Home Patrol. It's just like LiDAR navigation and a self-emptying base. If I come across a RoboVac in the future that has 3D vision and doesn't have a Home Patrol setting for photos and videos, it's really, really dropping the ball there because that is almost a non-negotiable, just like the other two features, because it makes this that much more versatile and usable. Now we can use it as a home security device as well, and I think that is amazing. I also wanna add in really quick that I love the mopping module on this unit because it's not just a wet pad that drags on the floor. Now it is actually active spinning and rotating, giving us some of that scrubbing power as well, making it that much more useful. Now I can't just sing all of its praises. There are a couple things I'd wanna see improved in the future. The biggest one for me is the voice assistant. Now this is ironic because I don't use the voice assistant, nor do I care to on my RoboVacs, but I really feel like with this particular vacuum, 
this is the first time I would want to use them with my Echo Show device. And unfortunately, that's not a capability right now. Maybe that'll come in the future, but I would love to be able to have Home Patrol enabled and watching it live on my Echo Show. How cool would that be? I would love to see that in the future. So that's a miss for me that it doesn't have that enabled already right out of the box. And I wonder if maybe they didn't focus so much on having their own voice assistant, if they had spent that time, effort, energy, just building out Alexa and Google Assistant, if we'd already have those features by now. And the second thing I'd like to see improved is really just something they should include and add directly into the bundle. That would be some cleaning solution. It'd be great if they gave us some cleaning solution right out of the box that we could use to make sure not only are we wiping our floor down with water, but we're actually cleaning and sanitizing them. So overall, this is an all-in-one complete kit if you ask me, self-emptying base, self-cleaning base, we have LiDAR navigation, we have 3D vision, we have our home patrol mode, so this becomes a security device as well, a built-in voice assistant, or the ability to use Google or Alexa. This really has everything there is to offer on the market today, all in a complete solid package that works great and cleans great.